Morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the beta plan, playing as Harald Bluetooth of Denmark in Civilization 5. Now, I apologize for the last episode because I noticed there was delay when I never changed the map, so I changed my direct settings, and as you can now see, well, I have to load in the map, but woohoo! We have speed in the recording, I checked it already once more, because... I don't really want you to suffer from that type of lagginess. That's not what I do for my watches. So I'm so sorry about that. But yes, I didn't really want to start a real, real campaign. Because, well, we have something cool going on here with Kataga. Having already in such an early, early war. So uh, let's see what we're about to do. What well, we're about to get, um, well, optics for the Great Lighthouse. Because that's what we're going to get. Or actually, that's what we want to get. We're not sure if we're going to get it, but... Damn, so we're gonna try. Uh, so these are my early warriors. You know what? Let's let's block her off. Ooh, where did we tell you to go? Now I kind of missed that. As we tell you to go there, and uh, well, seeing this is a new episode, that always means, or better say, restart up of the game. I always have to reset everything because the game. Just doesn't want to remember for some reason, and I don't know why, and I don't know like it. All right, <laughs> build me a farm. Oh, uh, I am very curious. How can show we finagle out another worker from Kataga? Actually, what I could do now that I realize is I. Hello? I see a border over here! Hmm... I could... try and land someone there, but I don't think that's wise. Oh! The Queen Kerem! Yes, but that's um, a ship that is melee only, so not to worry. I do not fear it so much, so let's make sure that she knows where our land is. Let's hold the border. And we can found a Pantheon, and I'm sure you know what we are going through, because... Well, actually there are two options available. And seeing that I'm making all these uh, decisions in freefold, I unfortunately cannot ask my watchers what I should do, but... The one that I want to go for is Goddess of Festivals. After all, which Viking doesn't drink and want to go to Valhalla? We get one culture and one faith for each wine and incense. So wine, 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 incense, wine and wine. So there is a lot to say for that. The other one we could go for is... Where is it? Um, not going for it. Oral Traditions. Plus one culture from Plantations. Now you're saying, why would you do that? Because these indeed require plantation, but there's one less than faith yet, but it's also because cacao over here requires plantations. So in the end, that would be more, but I have to say, Goddess of Festivals gives us faith. So I'm gonna go with the Goddess of Festivals. I hope you uh, agree with my decision over there. There we go. Fire a little bit at them. Fortify. Let's see if we can pressure Kataga. Whoa. And to such an amount that, uh, whoa, they can't do anything anymore. That will be uh, ideal. Sorry, by the way, I kind of forgot to push and turn there. Fire. Fire! Our Queen Kareem hasn't uh, come around yet, I don't know where it has gone to, but in the meantime, I guess we're just gonna kill some barbarians. He made an instrument to know if the moon shineth full or no. The king's might is greater than human, and his arm is very long. Aye, indeed. A king that is, uh, says, build me the great lighthouse. Forty turns. Holy sweet bejeebies. We will really, really need to put some, um... Well, I need to put more into production. Don't take that tile. Take that tile. More production, please. 
For now, that would be what I want from you. Oh, just get on with me. There you are going. And we also don't have a troll with constantly barbarians and, well, disallowing us to use that tile. Am I... Oh. Yes, I definitely will give you some friendship in Polynesia. At least make sure that we, you will not get on my back. Ooh, it says build a city over there. I kind of agree when you get those fishes as well, but first I want to... Is that better? You will have some overlap with Copenhagen, but on the other hand, if I build a city later here, then... That city will work this, and you will work... And you can get to this wine as well, then. And this wine. But you wonder this granary immediately available. Hmm... Isn't this spot better? Most of the time when a game says place it here and not on another tile, sometimes it means that a resource is gonna pop up there. But that's not always the case. You could place it above here with all the bananas and jungle. It will grow quickly, but it won't have any production. Don't like that. I want a city with production, so we're gonna go down here and... Um, Both are four turns, so I... Let's just go like that. And see if the game changes its mind. Thank you very much. Adapt to the policy. Well, in this case, now that we're building the great lighthouse, now we're going to go for this. That already reduced by quite a significant amount. There we go. Another Pantheon fainted. God of the Sea, plus one production from fishing boats. Very good one as well. It's definitely in a map like this, but the problem is that we don't have a lot of... No, then again, we could have had. Now that I realize... Uh, could have, yeah, but this spot is not going to be very quick. God of the Sea is definitely a good one. Don't get me wrong. God of the Sea is a definitely, a definitely a good one, but... Certainly on a map like this, but... And it will work probably everywhere in comparison to God of Festivals, but... Uh, two, three, four, five, yeah, I don't know, it could have been good. But one production instead of plus one faith, plus one culture. Yeah, now that I realize I might have gone with... Might have done the wrong thing. We could, of course, go with a um, uh, religious-focused game and uh, we'll get the benefits of that faith as well if we take it. Oh, does now probably say here. Well, you know what? We're going to settle in place down here. Ours! Thank you so much. And you have a free monument because of our uh, policies. So let's get you... Uh, a warrior takes too long. We could go with a shrine already. Build up the faith nice and quick. Oh, worker. Uh, the worker takes even longer. Oh, build up a shrine. This is a daring thing to do, by the way. If Kataga comes here with a boat, uh, our house is going to have... A, our house, I think you should pronounce it, is going to have a little bit of a problem, but yeah. The main thing in this episode is oh, the great lighthouse. We want it like no other. Hello. More barbarians. I must say, I like the music for Denmark less than I like the music for, for instance, for Sweden. And I know, I know I now invite a lot of flaming to my side, but yeah. Ooh, horses over there and... Right on top of ours. <laughs> well, it does mean we immediately get access to them, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, that may have gone better. Um... I think the Great Library. And then we will go for... See if we have some any iron laying around. And then we're probably gonna go for... Mathematics because of the Hanging Garden? Oh, or we could go for the Artemis Temple. Yeah, but we're already building a wonder. No, but still. And arches could be good. Build like this, I reckon. Alright, close. That's uh, more or less uh, 
Oh, great library is finished and a lot of people will immediately enter the classical era. Which means they now all might just have taken gotten the ability to Ooh, I wouldn't mind a lot of gold. I don't want to go per turn. I'll accept that. You probably will be happier with me, and that gives us enough money for us to finagle an extra worker. I will take that. I will take that definitely. The extra wine, and you know what? Let's get some extra production for the horses. Which will give us a quicker time to build than the lighthouse, seeing how many people all of a sudden add to the classical era. I'm kinda like worried otherwise it will be taken away from me. Which by the way all of a sudden makes the granary a lot better. Might have been better to bought them to start with a granary. I've been an idiot here. I focused on the faith game a little. Sometimes I do that. I do like the faith game a lot. Purchase how 460. Well, you're halfway already done with the grain with the shrine, so let's just continue and then build the granary. And let's build a pasture, because we really do want that lighthouse. Whoa, the amount of barbarians. Okay. And my sacred target is being very silent. They are not very happy with my two soldier block, and I think I saw the ship move there. We may also need to uh, consider building our own trireme. I think I pronounce it a way too Dutch-like. A trireme it is in English, but I don't know if that is actually the correct pronunciation in general in its original language, which, which is Greek, I think. Not sure of that. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. Thank you very much. And then we'll take writing. And then we'll get some mutual embassies. Let's see us where the other mm, civilizations actually are located. Because that could be good as well. But for this episode, of course, we will focus on the Grey Lighthouse. We need the Grey Lighthouse. And we'll probably need to aim it if we ever want to work the sea tiles for our house. Hmm. The amount of... Oh, I just spotted. Alright, it's sailing through. It it keeps looking at it like, we won that! And then it's all of a sudden... And then they sink. I don't really don't understand. The barbarians are... Kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, hello! Hello! Amma bay kul kandir de kubay zarira kula asaburiga masite tabasi matkaldadi Right I seek peace with all and your background is a city burning to ashes I believe a ski has kind of aggressive type of person so okay Whatever you say I guess you your peace is the Denmark peace wage war and get it all even more barbarians. Heck, perhaps honor would have been a pokito in Hello Mahawirio Kata Moto Ring no swan toro. There is Indonesia. Thank you so much for saying hello to us. Um no, I'm gonna refuse for now because we almost have writing and then we can place mutual embassies. Then we don't have to pay for that. But then again No, I should have accepted that. No, I'm not going to accept that. I have an idea. Uh, I was thinking about perhaps accepting that, getting a little bit more gold income, and then... No, but I am quite interested in your nutmeg for my wine. Because uh, we're going to hook up another wine over here, so I'm kind of okay with trading that away for now. I do think they're constantly interrupting... Is this done? Yes, there is a farm here. 
we can now hook up our own wine, our new wine over here, and then we will just have the same thing going on as usual. We are not the Dutch after all, because the Dutch gain uh, still have happiness from uh, uh, luxury resource if they trade it away. Hello, thank you. Start hitting Cartago's boats. And moreover, don't take that tile, but take that tile now that it is finished. That, uh... Did that actually change our, the speed of our great lighthouse from... Yes, it shaves off one turn. Not a lot, but you never know if that one turn is important. So we are definitely going to do that. It's even attacking Copenhagen. Okay? And who is attacking who here? Barbarians are attacking Songhai. A good book kills reason itself. Indeed it does. If you kill a book, you kill reason itself. There you go. Did you like that, Cartago? Getting your ship, mm, uh, well, damaged? Because you're never gonna get anything done over here. Um, yeah, it's going well, I think. Oh. Didn't even destroy it. Well, then I'm going to this. Mm, well, I will destroy you this way then. Our house doesn't demand truffles. Alright, truffles. It's going to be some looking for, I reckon. They come near jungle tiles most of the time, but unfortunately we have only bananas and um, sugar over here. Alright then. But Copenhagen! Ooh, two more turns for the Great Light Owls! I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait! Oh, by the way, we have writing! I'm being an idiot. Um, I'm being even more of an idiot by clicking on next turn when I want to do diplomacy. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord. And his wonders in the deep. The works of the Lord indeed, because we have it! We have the great lighters! Woohoo! Well, that is making me happy, happy, happy as can be. So, Songhai, uh, actually, everybody, I want to know where you are. Bug, Ed, yeah. so now that I have writing as well, why won't you accept some Bug, embassies? Yeah. You're all very happy to do so. You! Who are friendly with me? I want to see, and I'll probably pay a horse for it because we're not using horses. Yeah. And let's talk to Asakia of Songhai. That actually accepts that as well. Very good. I live quite far. You are building a wonder. I think that's Stonehenge. Oh, Honolulu might go for the, the faith game. Alright then. And nobody else is building a wonder. No. Honolulu is going for Stonehenge. Very interesting. We could build that. Yeah, but we're probably not be able to make it. Or somebody built the Temple of Artemis. Hmm, because we're now making a fishing boat, which would be good for us uh, to uh, get this tile up to six food, which would be really be good, but... Hmm, questions, questions, questions. But in this episode, we got the great lighthouse, and that is exactly what we wanted. We might just trade some horses away for some money and, uh, well... Get richer than Cartaga ever is, and thereby winning a war. Because currently, just putting our units at the border, and well, I hoped actually to finagle another unit away from here, but they're not sending any workers over here. Too bad. Too bad. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.